Hello, my name is Danielle Vito, sending good vibes your way. This seminar was created by myself and my partner, Brian Dillon. Today, we will be exploring the world of vibration. Essentially, what is bringing my voice to you today? Vibration plays an important role in our lives, whether we realize it or not. Vibration is everywhere in our environment. It is present in the music we hear, the visual stimuli we receive, and is also responsible for all other sensory stimuli. Interestingly, vibration plays a role at the atomic level of things as well as at the subtle level, which we are not aware of without special machinery, such as x-rays and infrared. This concept is significant to the education of students because they should be aware of the fact that our physical reality is made up of much more than that which is visible to the eye and audible to the ear. The following application is directed at the 8th to 9th grade levels. The purpose for this application is to provide an interesting way to introduce students to the following vocabulary. Oscillation, frequency, high and low, waves, wavelength, spectrum, amplitude, brightness, brighter, and range. To start off the lesson, we would show the following video to the students. This video shows what happens to sand when vibrated at different frequencies or tones. At each varying note, the sand changes its shape. Every change becomes a unique, balanced, mandala-type formation. This should spark the interest and attention of the students, captivating them to want to know more. After the video has been presented, the floor will be opened up for discussion about what the students think was happening in the video and why. This should elicit the students to produce the topic of vibration themselves. Next, a proper definition of vibration will be given, broken down to the level of comprehension appropriate for the students. Following will be a demonstration of the physics behind vibration. We shall explain to students that all our senses rely on the play of vibrations. Vibrations are responsible for the colors we see, the sounds we hear, the flavors we taste, the scents we smell, and the textures we touch. First, we will take two distinct pitchforks. By ringing one after another and holding them closely together, nearly touching, students will be able to hear the difference in oscillations between the two pitchforks. Next, the students will hear and see a guitar string being plucked. The string creates a sound from an oscillating chord, which is also a vibration. To demonstrate this firsthand to the students, they will build their own cups connected by a string to communicate with one another. This will show that vibrations created from one's voice are transferred to the first cup through the vibrating string and finally received at the second cup. After the cup activity, students will be told to recall the original video that they saw at the beginning of the lesson. Next, they will be asked to reflect on all previous activities and demonstrations and how vibration played a similar but different role in each one. In the video, the changing tone of sound, or frequency, caused the formation of the sand to change correspondingly. In the cup and string demonstration, vibration was responsible for the transfer of sound from one source to another. Although waves are infinite in spectrum, humans are only capable of sensing a limited range of them. The audible range of sound for humans is between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz. A dog, on the other hand, which students should be familiar with, has the ability to hear sounds at a much higher frequency than humans, such as with a dog whistle. As can be inferred by the following chart, as well as demonstrated through audio files, the items listed all fall into a particular range on the spectrum of sound. A bass and trombone can be seen in a similar range, the bass going slightly lower in frequency and the trombone going slightly higher. The violin and flute also correspond. However, the violin covers higher and lower frequencies than the flute. Lastly, male speech and female speech can be seen to cover very large ranges with 
the male voice starting at a lower frequency and the female voice ending at a higher frequency. Like sound, light has a spectrum of its own. The visible part of light is what we know as the seven familiar colors. Although we can identify with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, there exists colors above and below this range. As can be inferred from the chart, our visible range is an incredibly narrow portion of the light or electromagnetic spectrum. For instance, our visible spectrum can be accounted for by any object that we see from the light emitted from a light bulb. Brighter frequencies exist beyond the visible range of a human, which are called successively ultraviolet, soft and hard x-rays, and gamma rays, all of which have shorter wavelengths and higher frequencies. Examples from these ranges would include x-ray machines and radioactive elements. Going in the opposite direction on the electromagnetic spectrum, we encounter infrared, microwaves, and radio waves, all of which have longer wavelengths and lower frequencies. Examples from these ranges would include heat, radar, microwave ovens, FM, AM radio, and RF waves, the waves responsible for cell phone communication. After the application of vibration in the realm of physics through sound and color, students should be expected to understand that although unable to be detected through one of the five physical senses, vibrations exist below and above the range of human detection. We chose vibration because it can be adapted to so many different areas within education. A few examples of some crossover areas are math, biology, art, religion, and music. To provide additional interdisciplinary reinforcement, vibration can be applied to math. At this level, students should be familiar with sine waves. Vibrations can be shown to represent sine waves on a graph. Accordingly, they also have their own function. One cycle can be seen as the wave completing one S movement. This is known as a cycle. The amount of cycles occurring in one second is measured in hertz, the standard measurement of frequency. From this chart, amplitude can also be introduced. When studying animals, vibration appears again when students learn about animal and plant communication. The frequency that some animals hear and communicate at is sometimes out of the human's audible spectrum. Animals, such as bats, rely on sonar and sound waves to navigate and hunt. Plants can be seen on YouTube singing and even reacting to thought vibrations and actions of humans via polygraph machines. Dr. Masaru Emoto has shown that positive words written on bottles of water cause the water crystals to resonate to their perfected geometric state. These mandalas reflect the energy, or vibration, of the chosen word into your reality. Using the Pythagorean system of numerology, words can be represented as mandalas by splitting up vowels, consonants, and the desired word as a whole. In this way, art can be created by the manner in which a word vibrates. Colors used in the artwork can reinforce the kelps as well. Look at how diving into vibration and mandalas can bring us to the following subjects. Mayan culture, spiritualities such as Buddhism, Hinduism, and Kabbalah, not to mention geometry. Even music can be incorporated if we play an orchestra, a single instrument, or have somebody sing into a somatic amplifier or device. See the video link for more information. This concludes our interdisciplinary seminar. We hope you enjoyed it. Our works cited include Google Images, Science and Human Transformation by William Tiller, and YouTube, Frequency, Sound, and Vibration 